Hey, what's up, you guys? It, it's me, Tang, again. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys today how to uh, do a, a leak test. Um, I have the proper tools to do a pressured wire, pressured leak test, but you know, many of you don't have access to it. Um, this is gonna sh show you guys that it, if it has bent valves or anything. This one has a bent valve. I'm gonna show you guys how to test for it. Uh, many of you don't know how to test for it, so you end up getting ripped off in the end. But uh, hopefully this can help you guys so you guys don't get ripped off. Uh, some of you may like this video, some of you may not. And the people that don't, you know, probably the ones ripping you off. So, um, so when you buy a head, you may get one with warp, a warped head. Uh, that's the chance you take when you buy a head. But um, you don't want one with bent valves. So um, what we're going to have today is... Um, some brake cleaner, some good brake cleaner. Um, we're gonna spray clean the bottom. You know, you're gonna spray clean the combustion chamber, clean it up, make sure you know there ain't no trash or no um, grease sealing up the valves. You know, there's a lot of hidden ways to where you can you can seal up the valves. Um, so with the brake cleaner, you cleaning the combustion chamber is gonna help. Um, what you wanna do? When checking for for valve leak, is get the brake cleaner after you clean the combustion chamber, and fill it up. Cover cover all the valves. Um, all right, that that's completely covered, um, and <coughs> that's a completely covered. Um, let's see, this one is a good cylinder, so you know as you can see, it's not leaking. Or anything. Um, this one on the other hand, other hand is the the bent valve one. Um, I'm gonna show you the difference. Um, it should start leaking right away, um, or just give it a second or two and let it eat through the the grease and stuff, uh, the little dirt, debris, and whatnot. Uh, but if it's a good, healthy valve, healthy com healthy cylinder, it shouldn't leak. Um, now we're gonna fill this chamber up. And um, we're we've just filled it up, and um, it's starting to go down a little bit, um, little by little. This one is uh, still full, um, but you can see that it's starting to leak. Um, you see how it's running down. Um, that's how you test it. You're gonna test all all of the ports. Um, check. And make sure you know that you don't have any bent valves because you don't want to have to buy a head and uh, you know get bent valves and have to pay another shop a few hundred bucks just to get it fixed so um, that's how you'll do that test uh, hopefully you guys can do that test It's very cheap go to the auto store get you some brake cleaner and hopefully it'll help um, save you some time and money um, like I said this one has a bent valve that's how you check it I normally check it with the vacuum pressure test um, that's what I use but like I said, not everybody has access to it. Um, another thing you want to check is the cam um, shaft and the cam journals or the cam caps. So when you have your cam shaft um, in and you ca and um, you have your cam shaft in and your cam caps bolted up, um, you want to go to the auto store and get some plastic gauges and make sure you lay lay the strip across all the cam the cam caps and the cam journals. Um, and torque it down to spec and then uh, make sure it has the proper clearance because you're going to buy a lot of heads you're going to see a lot of heads out there with missing cam caps and you can't just change over the cam caps so you can't use the cam caps from another head um, it's not it you may get by with it you you may get by with it but um, chances are you're not really going to get by with it because some areas will be tighter than than others but um if you guys have any questions, just feel free to email me. Uh, I'll try my best to give you guys a better example. But uh, this is a simple way to, chest, to check for leak, uh, for bent valves. And um, good luck. Hopefully you guys don't get ripped off. Um, I've been seeing too many people get ripped off. And that's the main reason why I wanted to do this video. So good luck. And um, hopefully you don't get ripped off.